What is going on, ladies and gents? Welcome, welcome, welcome to our Tuesday live stream event with no other than one of my students and incredible friends, Paul Van Sprundle. Welcome to the actual live stream event today. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, ladies and gents, we have a lot to go through, quite frankly. <laughs> Let me make sure we are actually live in our groups before we actually get rocking and rolling. We are perfect. Very, very good. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream, everybody. As we go ahead and get everyone to pack in, hopefully you're having an incredible start to your day so far. I'm fresh out the gym. We got Paul over there in Spain, rocking our own. He has a beautiful view. And we're going to give you guys some really good value today as we drive forward to go ahead and really break down how Paul is scaling to $80,000 USD a month in his store before without having consistency. Now he's enabling himself to have consistency, build systems, and scale thereafter. Paul, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing today, my man? Always, man. I'm really good. How are you? Good, good, good. Hanging in there, hanging in there, having a good start to the day as always. And again, Paul, thank you so much for actually taking the time out of your day to go ahead and hop on with us here uh, to talk to the rest of the community of BSF about how you're actually making this happen, how you're scaling to $80,000 a month, how you quit your job, and how you're doing this all at the age of 21 pretty much from scratch right here in the Beyond Six Figures program, which is freaking awesome. So first and foremost, Paul, again, thank you. Would you mind giving us a bit of a background as to where you're from and ultimately, you know, how old you are as well as that? All right. So I'm 21 years at the moment. I started dropshipping like three years ago and I literally put on a note that like the different options, like want to start a business, what's the best way? So I literally started that first six months, zero sales. Then I bought this program, like a course for a thousand. Then I started getting some traction for the past two years. No real consistency, Facebook blocks. Everybody knows it was dropshipping, like the, the typical problems. So I wanted to give it one last shot with uh, BSF, basically. Worked every single day on it and only consistency from the start. Like I, I really uh, knew what to do, like every single step and so clear. It's like the best program out there. And I don't like to talk about like coaches and stuff because there are a lot of bad coaches, but uh, just to really change my life in a, in a positive way. That's awesome, Paul, and I appreciate that. Now, what I want to go ahead and do, guys, for everyone watching, welcome. Okay, welcome. We have a great attendance already, and it will continue to climb as we go through the live stream, which is awesome. So if you're watching right now, welcome to our stream today, guys. This is Paul, one of our BSF students. He's going to be walking us through exactly how he's built his brand and his business to $80,000 a month. We're going to be going through product research, ultimately the systems he's using, and how he's generating consistency as well. So everyone here can get an idea as to how you can make this happen for yourself as well. Because in reality, many people believe that the e-commerce dream – is no longer real or it was never real, right? And quite frankly, there's never been more opportunity than right now with more people shopping online than ever before. So, you know, first and foremost, guys, welcome to the stream today. If you're actually watching right now, throw a heart on the video right now as well. And definitely go ahead and comment hashtag BSF down below. We're going to be giving out three hoodies today throughout the entire session for you guys to go ahead and win one as well. To go ahead and specifically just get your hands on a BSF hoodie because we get so many messages asking about them as well. So as we go through and have the interview, I'll be dropping them throughout the interview as well, which is going to be super good, guys. So be sure to stay until the end. This is straight value driven as well, which is going to be really, really good. So first and foremost, before we actually get started today, let's go ahead and give out one hoodie. Okay, one hoodie. So what we're going to go ahead and do, everyone who wants to possibly win this hoodie will be giving it out in like two minutes right now. Go ahead and comment down below hashtag BSF as many times as you possibly can. The most comments will win the actual BSF hoodie as well. We got we got Diane in the house as well. What's up, Diane? We got a lot of people hopping on, which is really good. Good to see everybody here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We'll give two more minutes to go ahead and win that BSF hoodie before we get rocking and rolling into the meat of things here today, guys, to really make an incredible, incredible live stream so Paul can walk us through how he's been able to make this happen for himself. So hashtag BSF down below, guys, as many times as you possibly can. We're giving out three hoodies throughout the entire session today, one right now, one in the middle, and then one at the end as well with a special gift, which would be super awesome. So give you guys 30 more seconds to go ahead and make that happen. And we'll go ahead and give out that specific hoodie, which would be really cool. So you know, as they go ahead and comment, hashtag BSF down below, Paul, do us a favor, you know, walk us through what you did before e-commerce. Where were you before e-commerce? And ultimately what made you want to get into e-commerce? So basically I hated school like, uh... Every entrepreneur does, right? So, <laughs> <laughs> so I was always on my money, man. Always like getting money, like from different things, like selling clothes, working in the grocery shop, like everything that brought me in money. Then I decided to just start e-com and doing this, but it wasn't profitable for the first. I worked at multiple jobs besides this. Then I was this time, like um, I finished high school. 
so this was the time to go to university and stuff. It was the virus going on, the coronavirus, just the start of it. You were at high school during that time. Yeah, I was already during high school. Like uh, I was, I started like 19, 18, like that that specific time period. Got it. Okay. So I was in high school, and uh, it was like this big thing. You had to choose, like, what do you want to do next in life and stuff. So I decided. I already knew I wanted to do stuff for myself i always told my dad like i'm gonna be rich because he's also like working for himself and like the same since i was like a little kid so i just said to him like i'm going to this university but i'm only studying uh, stuff that actually can learn me stuff so i started an entrepreneurship and business innovation tilburg university uh five best universities in the world apparently but for me it was uh, it wasn't that because it was like People teaching me how to run a business without having a business. So I was already really, really skeptical. So I was working more in my store during the lectures than uh, than I was listening. So I decided right. to drop out, go full time work, and do ecom on the side. And now, uh, now ecom full time basically in a couple of years. What a story, man! So you really did start this off really, really young, and that goes to show. You know, no matter how young, how old, or how whatever you are, you can make this happen. Right. And that's incredible. So in that midst of you kind of quitting your job and going to e-commerce full time, what was your thought process like right there? The thought process of like quitting. Yeah. No, it doesn't hurt. Like it's always a risk, but like <laughs> literally like from like the past year and a half, I, I come back, like I read these books, like these, uh, these personal development books. Right. And I visualize like, and I say to myself, like, I have, I quit this job. I'm sitting here at, in Bali or Marbella where I'm at now, like every single day, like in first time, you don't believe it, but when you go after it and grind like every single day, like work, working all day and then working all day also for, for yourself and then gym and then repeat. It, it's really like a it's tough a time. No, yeah, right. It's really right. Grind. Which is awesome. So that, that's a really good kind of preface to exactly how you started off. We'll give out that hoodie now as well. The winner to the hoodie is going to be... Bentley's Napa Valley. She just retired on Friday. Congratulations. Here's your retirement gift. Congratulations to you. Congratulations. Uh, Bentley's Napa Valley. I think it's, is it a Bentley car dealer or, or a restaurant? Pretty cool. I love the name, but Bentley's Napa Valley. Diane, congratulations. You won yourself a BSF hoodie. Huge congratulations to you. Do me a favor, shoot me a personal message or Arvind a personal message, and we'll go ahead and get your hands on that hoodie. Now, with that being said, guys, please do me a favor, throw a heart on the video right now. If you're watching and just hopping on, we're going to go ahead and proceed with this interview now. Now, Paul, in high school, you're building up consistency. You know you wanted to go ahead and make money and, and really yeah, just yeah. build something for yourself. You move forward. You found some consistency, but not anything that was real consistent, but you knew you wanted to do this long term. And then you move yeah. forward and you're enabling yourself to kind of see the pathway forward, which was e-commerce. Fast yeah. forward to now, you're doing $80,000 a month. Okay, so first and foremost, I think a good question to start off this live stream with to help everyone kind of understand what is the difference maker from someone who has a revenue of $80,000 a month, okay, to someone who only has maybe revenue of like 1000 or 2000 or no consistency a month, but they're working equally as hard. What's the difference maker there and how were you able to make this happen? Walk us through like the first steps of the process for you. Literally these systems from BSF, like it's really that, like you, you know what to do. And like as an entrepreneur, I've been there myself, like you think you know it all, like trying to find out the wheel, this and that. But there are actually people out there that, that know stuff better than you. I didn't believe it in the first, but they they actually do like <laughs> they know more stuff than I, I do. So the systems, literally step by step, knowing what to do at every single period in your business. Literally. For sure. So so Paul, when you started really marketing your product and seeing the first signs of traction and consistency, what did it look like? What did it like? What did you launch? What did it look like? Did sales come in day one? Was it inconsistent at first? Did you have to dial in that consistency to reach the $80,000 a month? Walk us through the first stages of actually launching this product and scaling, which I remember very vividly because we were doing it together. Yeah. Yeah. Literally like first day I already saw that it, it was pretty much a winner, right? So I started with the 11 times five, the the farm method literally, and it was like 55 ad spend was already like 350 in euros and revenue day one so like it was like crazy as you know you know that it is like a winning product right away so then with the systems i i, I was just looking how to how to scale this up but also consistency that was like the, the main key for me and now now it is where the, it is at now so really happy sure. with it. 
For sure. And one of the main things that we focus on here at BSF, as we know, is real foundations, right? And that's the difference maker, Paul. Like we keep saying consistency, 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 yeah. right? So structure, SOPs, and system. I like to call it the triple S, right? That's going to get you that real kind of linear growth curve that we're looking for here. And someone like yourself, who is young, young as hell, quit their job and is you know going into e-commerce full time, does having these systems and that consistency help you kind of manage your anxiety and stress? Because as a business owner, I'm yeah. stressed sometimes. I have anxiety. And I'm sure you are as well. But consistency and systems, what does that do for you as a business owner? Yeah, literally everything. Like without systems, you don't know. You're stressing. You're laying in your bed only thinking about your business. It makes it really clear. Like I know what to do next. And then sometimes in the beginning when you don't have systems, you are working on stuff that isn't really important. You don't have to do marketing, uh, email marketing when they're, when you don't have product research done or something like that. You have to focus on the most important things and move ahead, literally. And without a plan, system, structure, everything in BSF, that it's so difficult to do. Got it. No, for sure. Now, after you got those that first consistency in the first few, on the first few days of the product and you duplicated the ad sets, right, using the actual duplication rule that we have here at BSF, what did you start to see after duplicating these first algorithmic targeting mother audiences? Did you see more consistency, more sales? More consistency. Yeah, got literally it. like because like five ad sets already from 11 got like sales on the first day on five euros budget. I duplicated five times all of those ad sets and like two or three from every single ad set already got like sales. So then you clearly know that, that it is something to scale. So literally that like duplicating, duplicating again with the systems over and over. Got it. Now also, Paul, like, as we're getting slight consistency in the early stages of running the product, did you ever see minor inconsistencies when the data was young? Did that ever happen? Because it's, listen, there's a lot of people who have winning products and are in eventually scale massively, right? But in the beginning stages, like our student Luke Toll, who's done over $2.5 million with us in our e-commerce program, okay? He's also in our service program as well, building another program that he's already cash flowing on as well that we helped him with, which mm -hmm. is awesome. But he was also experiencing inconsistencies in the early stages of his store that he's now a multi-million dollar store owner on. So- what did you see in terms of inconsistencies and did that ever subside as you got more data? Yes, more inconsistency later on, like after a week or something. Every time like I did those calls with you on Sunday, like I got a clear view and he was like saying to me, don't scale. Him. And I was like, it's literally <laughs> making me money. Let's scale this thing up. Like I want to make more money. But sometimes it's better to like push a bit back, put the robots back and the, the algorithmic stuff. So. Really, I got some inconsistency in the beginning, but like the further I did, the less inconsistent it was. Got it. And that's a really good way to think, guys. So everyone listen to this here. If you're watching, if you're watching right now, stay on. This is going to be super, super valuable. We're literally breaking it down how we went from no consistency to $80,000 plus dollars a month inconsistency. And I want you guys to understand each point here. Okay, because a lot of people will talk in generalities and won't really talk about how, what actually the sales look like and what the movement of the ads look like. And that's what I want to focus on today. So as we started off, we start we had some inconsistencies, but as we duplicated, we start to get more consistency because we had more audiences running, more audiences alive at the time, which had more ad spend running. And in turn, we actually were profitable on those audiences. So we start to get more sales and more sales. When you started to see the sales continue to come in, what did you do thereafter? What was the next step for you, Paul? Yeah, literally the retargeting was already like after a few days, I already hit like the 25 sales. After retargeting like five, seven days, it really showed like big consistency over and over again with the two different ad copies. So then I started using micro Big Bang and then later on the Big Bang. But first the micro Big Bang was really like the, the game changer from like 300 to 500 euro days to like one to 2K days where it is at now. So like uh, from scaling up further, it went like really big. Cool, cool. Now, with that being said as well, <clears throat> when we launched Micro Big Bang, when we launched it, so guys, Micro Big Bang is around 100 audiences launched at one time on a $1.50 budget. It's derived after our custom audiences that we create, and we're creating a 1% to 5% actual lookalike for every single custom audience, and then also a 5 to 10%. So essentially, we're going to be having several audiences for every single custom audience. Therefore, the Micro Big Bang comes about around, around 100 ad sets in one single campaign. So, Paul, when you actually launched the Micro Big Bang, what did you notice here? And did we did we see consistency? How was the ROAS? And what did it look like when we launched that Micro Big Bang? Was it a kind of like light at the end of the tunnel mo moment? Or what did it kind of seem like to you? 
it was already like consistent from like Algo, but a micro did like the literally like the bang like from <laughs> like the, the fuel to the fire so to yeah, speak yeah literally that that i know i already knew that it was a winner like but i was really scared that it maybe die off like the the current assets from algo and since michael it just went only better and better like. got it paul now while we're scaling all this we're doing all this inside of the beyond six figures vip mentorship with me right which is really cool walk us through like did the support help you kind of monitor and, and decide what choices to make and know what to do at certain times. Was that helpful at all? Yeah, everything. Like before I, uh, I didn't really know what to do. Like I was, okay, this, this, uh, this interest is, is like winning, like row us three, let's kick up the budget like traditional way and stuff. But now I literally knew like, okay, duplicate this now, kill this now, step-by-step -step guide on, on like every single campaign that you're running for new creatives, for everything, like step-by-step. Very cool. Now, I guess you could say it would have been more costly for you to not join BSF. I think it literally is like one of the best investments I made. Of course, it's like I remember like when I uh, when I needed to purchase like this for the six months, like 5K is still like money for me, of course. But like it's it's one of the best things like and I really believe in this principle of like give yourself six months for something push every single day, like no days off, literally like BSF says, and then, NDO. and then magic happens literally like that. Like it's almost too good to be true. Like Very good. I love it, Paul. So with that being said, walk us through like, how do you feel right now having a business that does $80,000 a month at the age of 21? Like you walk into grocery stores, you probably walk a little bit different now doing $80,000 a month. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels amazing. But like, um, I've been consistent like every single month since I joined bsf but now it's really like next level stuff of course it's good like that more money is coming in but i don't think i really act like differently at the moment i hope so i hope so but like, stay humble. Of, of course you gotta stay humble but like <laughs> I, I really felt this moment like that it should have been like maybe a year ago or like more you know so it never can come quick enough for for every entrepreneur basically no right right now paul walk us through so from Micro Big Bang, what did you do thereafter with Big Bang to go ahead and scale even larger as well? What took place after Micro? And one thing, real quick, guys, actually. I want to show you guys this real quick. So first and foremost, just so we could actually see what Paul's referring yeah. to. Okay, this is our farm system, guys, okay? He started with algorithmic targeting to the three-day rule to Micro Big Bang. And this is where we are currently. And what type of revenue are you pulling right here a day? With the micro big bang, it, it was like I think 750 to 1.25 k in euros a day. So like from 350 to like 750, I think like that kind of like uh, scale. Got it. Very cool. So we have the algorithmic targeting running. Did you turn off the algorithmic while you launched micro, or did you leave it on because it was doing? Leave well? it on. And, and why did you leave it on? Because it was still profitable, and like the duplicates were also profitable at uh, at five euros and even at 1.5. So. If it was profitable, I don't no need to kill it, basically. Paul, you literally know this like the back of your hand, my man. Like, yeah. like instant with it. Instant with it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> Without it, uh, I don't know what I, what I would have done. Amazing. So after Micro Big Bang, walk us through the transition into Big Bang. Yeah, so after Micro Big Bang, I, I, I launched Big Bang. But I waited a long time before I, I really launched CBOs. So CBOs aren't that long, but that was the next step. They're all, every time you put in more ad spend, every, every entrepreneur knows it. Like, you don't know what it's going to do basically, but like, I haven't seen so much consistency also, like not only with these systems, especially with like ad spend limits. That was like a huge thing for me in the beginning, like 50 euro ad spend limit, 200, 500, you know how, how it goes basically. And like these blocks also in the beginning, Facebook blocks. I think that was like the biggest hurdle that I, needed to overcome like in these past like one and a half years like you have a winning product and then your page get blocked or paypal holds your money or shopify or every every dropshipper basically knows how this stuff goes so literally systems are important but also the support for like the other stuff like you literally get the the network from justin like from every single thing that there basically is in this whole space so i think that helps me out like massively like that's, That's awesome, Paul. And 
on average, when you're moving through, what's like your margin like on, on, a, on, on a solid month, on an average solid month? Average solid month, 26 to 27 now. Ooh, it's like 30% margins. Yeah, almost 30%. And I'm actually like, I don't know how you feel about like the, uh, as Dutch guys, we can like do like tax-free dropshipping. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm starting you know, to do that now. So. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to talk about the taxes, you know, like okay. uh, I'll leave that to my accountant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Don't talk taxes. Yet. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's awesome, Paul. Very good. Now, uh, by the way, amazing margins, okay? Now, <clears throat> with that being said, okay, as we go ahead, algorithmic, as we go ahead, micro big bang, as we go ahead and hit big bang, okay, and then we transition into CBO. What does this look like here, Paul? Walk us through what this transition looks like for us. Yeah, literally, uh, uh, I started too slow with like, I should have done CBO earlier in like my campaigns. Big bang was doing already amazingly well. And like, I had so many like profitable ad sets going like from three to five rows even. So I just put it in the CBO and it, it was even better. Like the CBOs are amazing, but like not at the start, I think, because you can throw away like lots of money. Exactly. So, and that's so a good way to put it. So one thing we want, we, let's go ahead and let everyone know how we start off and why we build a foundation, right? So we build a foundation because we want to get consistency, right? That's what we're most, uh, that's what we like the most. You, Paul, we love consistency because we don't like to go ahead and worry at night about if we're going to have to sell our dog tomorrow or, <laughs> or you know, do something like that, right? We yeah. want to go ahead and have consistency so we can relax a little bit, right? So that's what we like to build a foundation out, guys. And as you see, all of these, Algo, Micro, and Big Bang are foundational approaches. Foundational approaches are actual infrastructure builds, okay? A Basically a foundation for large audiences to be duplicated tons of times so you can actually have consistency. What happens here, okay, is CBO is now your vertical scale vehicle, okay? Your vertical scale vehicle being CBO, okay, is going to be taking all of the audiences that have already done well from the above campaigns, okay, all over here, and then we're gonna put them into the CBO to actually scale vertically. Keep in mind, OK, keep in mind, the reason that we scale vertically with the CBO is because that's where we could actually put the largest budget and see the best consistency in most cases. We are also going back and dissecting and using the 20 percent edit rule for our algorithmic targeting audiences and dissected audiences as well. Now, with that being said, after we launched the Big Bang, what did you start to see here? Did you have the micro and the macro Big Bang running at the same time? At the same time also, like a bigger ad spend, of course still consistent sales like like with everything you know you know from the start like you don't have to spend as much especially with algo like you have some products in the beginning you really know like okay after some days just kill it off and and before i was like more emotional like i would thought, okay i spent this much time on this product page this more time on on like this video or something and then you think oh maybe one more day and then then it will go right but like you have to be really strict with like everything so i think that's the main part also like knowing from the start what to do at the middle with micro with the big bang and the CBO to really like blow the stuff up and like, can't wait to scale this beyond like 100 K a month. Hell yeah, brother. And what do your parents and friends think about this? Uh, friends, they, I, I lost like lots of friends, like in the last few years, really like I didn't go out and party as much, like since I think that 18 or something, not that I don't like partying because I, I love to party. That's not the like thing. building businesses more. Yeah, the thing is, like with partying, the next day is like the worst. You can't gym, you can't work on your business and stuff. And like it's it's opportunity time, so a lack of time. So like my, I have some close friends now. They also doing like, uh, yeah, not the same as me, but like uh, running businesses, running money. So that's a great <laughs> thing. My dad is like, he doesn't, he didn't understand in the beginning what I was doing, like, uh, but now he's really like proud and supportive, and he's also my bookkeeper. So. <laughs> we're running uh, a bit together like everything and my mom like uh we as she is from like russia like we're not from a rich uh rich parents or anything like that so she's really happy that uh, i can also give something back so i hey, think that's, that's the, the best part that's what it's all about man and i think that's so cool as well because you know first and foremost i feel like when when the, when the dad's the bookkeeper that's when you know you made it you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty cool stuff man and you know coming from such humble beginnings you know I was the same way and you know kind of the first taste of success and, and kind of big win it makes you so much more hungry you're gonna want more you yeah, want more. always always and, you you know, can't stop, like. that's the thing and, and the journey is, is ultimately you know when you're 
Now, on your deathbed, you know, even though we don't like to think about it, you're going to be thinking about the journey, you know, and, yeah. and that's why you want to really cherish these moments, cherish the come up, cherish the grind, cherish those sleepless nights of not, you know, moving forward, of struggling, right? Cherish, that's what makes us. And quite frankly, without those nights that you have had, you probably would not be sitting where you are. Because, Paul, at the end of the day, yes, you're in BSF. Yes, you use the systems. And yes, you know, we, we rock and roll with you. But you made this happen yourself. You made this happen yourself. And the reason is you actually understand what you're doing. You're able to move forward and operate properly because you have systems. And you're actually someone who has discipline and an ambition to go ahead and build something great. I couldn't be more proud of you, man. Thanks, man. It's really awesome. Like, uh, I don't like to brag about like other stuff and I don't really compliment like a lot of guys in this industry because this industry is like uh, lots of cowboys to say it like that. But like, <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad that uh, I'm in this space. And no, we're glad to have you as well, Paul. And it's been nothing short of phenomenal. And for everyone watching right now as well, if anyone has a question for Paul, definitely drop it down below. If you're brand new, just starting or scaling to your first 100K month or whatever you're doing, drop a question down below. We'll take a few questions uh, and we'll go ahead and you know make we'll go ahead and make it happen as well, guys. We'll also give a hoodie out now as well because we have to give out two more hoodies. Okay, so go ahead and comment down below, hashtag BSF, as many times as you guys possibly can. The most comments will win a BSF hoodie. So you got drop a question down below or drop hashtag BSF down below. Either way, someone will win an actual hoodie. We're giving out two more today, guys. So spam it down below. And in the meantime, so Paul, in order to go ahead and really, really keep that consistency, what do you have to do on a kind of like a daily basis to kind of monitor your ads and things like this? How are you managing your support team? And walk us through kind of the back end and how Paul is really rocking the roll. Yeah, so I check campaigns like twice a day at minimum to scale up or down. In the morning and in the evening, basically. Customer support, I actually got some to, uh, someone to do it for me since a couple of weeks now. I'm here with some other e-com guys, so we linked up with the same uh, cost good customer support guys. So so that's great. And the next steps are always like build a new team. I'm at this foundation that Justin says it's, it's necessary to build a team to like scale forward to even new stores or like the current brand that we're currently running with BSF. So it's really amazing to to build this slowly up basically. For sure, for sure. And one of the craziest things about it is really the consistency, right? That That's the part that no one seems to get, right? And like you see other people in other groups and programs, they'll have yeah. one good month and then they're, they're nowhere to be found I'm next month. Yeah. We, have, we have people who've been with us for literally years and years and years and years, right? And the reason is, is because the goal is consistency. The goal is actually building a foundation and a real digital asset and not just a two week pump and dump like a lot of these other guys that have yeah. to do, am I right? literally like consistency is the the most important part of any business like you want to to see every every day money coming in instead of money going out on ad spend or or things like that no for sure for sure and we have lots of people commented down below as well we'll go ahead and give away that one hoodie right now as well guys 30 more seconds hashtag bsf down below as many times as you can i'm gonna choose this winner right now don't mind me guys i'm gonna jump on my phone because the app does not allow me to see names on here <laughs> let me go ahead and see who we got Rocking and rolling right in here. We will actually choose from YouTube as well. So my man right here, we got No Dear Beck. Okay, congratulations. You want a BSF hoodie, my friend? Very, very cool. Congratulations, man. Uh, does BSF focus on Facebook ads only or other platforms? We focus on other platforms as well. We actually just added an entirely brand new BSF custom module for Google ads as well. We go huge on Google ads. We have Rojas right now of 20 on our Google ads, which is crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Google ads as well, as well as email marketing and pretty much everything in between guys to go ahead and really build out and scale. Facebook is the king. It will continue to be the king as we move forward as well. But yes, we do focus on other platforms as well, which is great. Now, um, yeah, so Noterbeck, you won the BSF hoodie, my friend. So shoot me a personal message to my Instagram account, okay? Because you probably don't know, uh, you know the team members yet since you're on YouTube, but shoot me a message to my Instagram account and I will go ahead and get you that free hoodie, my friend. Okay, now with that, congratulations, by the way, Noterbeck. Now, with that being said, we got some questions here, Paul. We'll kind of ask a few more questions yeah, for you. Is that cool? Yeah, cool. always. Okay, so how do you keep track of your ads, of, of your ad to carts, and at what stage are they at in duplication? And are you using Commonly? <laughs> yeah, I'm using Commonly. And in the beginning, it was like a really thing for me, like, oh, I need to spend a lot again <laughs> on basically my business to lots of guys say this, like, oh, you need to buy this or that. But Commonly really works and like it actually keeps track of, of my data. I also have like these uh, pixel fixes. So I have some uh, connection in Russia. We basically like can fix my pixel basically to track better like 
from time to time. So that's, code, right? that's really great. But like commonly helped me much like from add to carts, from like initiate checkout, from the purchase itself, like from every single stage. Amazing. And for, for the BSF students watching right now, if you look in university, we have a big discount for Comet Lee as well. If you want to get involved in Comet Lee, we literally use Comet Lee as well for our own. <laughs> cool. And with that being said, okay, let's see down here. Hey, no, Notre Beck says, thank you, but I live in Japan. Not an issue at all. It's on the house. I'm sending it out there. I'll, I'll go ahead and we'll put some Asian lettering on it as well, which is, which is perfect. Okay. Definitely shoot me a message to my um, IG, Notre Beck, because I want to get your hands on that hoodie, man. You are the giveaway winner. Congratulations. All right. And with that being said, let's go ahead and ask some fucking final questions. So first and foremost, Paul, okay, one of the great things I want to go ahead and walk you through right, right now is the fact that you actually managed to find consistency in a cutthroat market. There's so many people in this game who will say stuff to you that doesn't actually come to come through reality to will just give you theory type systems that, that don't that don't actually work. And three, they'll walk you through just random tactics that simply yeah. aren't you know, plausible in this day and age. Walk us through like what the difference is with BSF compared to everything else out there. And this is what I'm passionate about because quite frankly, there's a lot of guys out there that's, you know, they talk to talk, but they can't walk the walk. So walk mm -hmm. us through the difference maker with that, Paul. I think uh, basically marketing, right? So dropshipping is basically marketing. I think my whole view of like marketing changed from product research to everything. Like back before I thought, okay, this product sells well for somebody else. It should well, sell well for me. But that's not always the case. You you have marketing angles, you have other stuff, you have Amazon, you have lots of different markets, markets and things that you have to look after before like making a decision. And if you don't, it's like basically gambling, right? So with systems, you basically don't gamble. You you always choose like the right thing to scale or kill basically your, your ad sets. And if you just gamble and take like, oh, this product uh, looks good, I think I would buy it. I've been there also like, oh, this is a nice product. So... So let's let's try let's try to run ads on it, right? So basically, that you like it doesn't mean like that everybody will like it. That's not how marketing works. Right. So follow the market. Don't follow yourself, right? Follow the market. Yeah, literally, yeah. That's the main thing. Like focus on what has demand, right? Focus on what has yeah. demand. Exactly. Counts. So Paul, doing eighty thousand dollars plus a month. What countries are you marketing to? Uh, I don't know if I want to say, but like <laughs> Netherlands and Belgium at, at the moment. So. Uh, I think, and the biggest thing, right, because dropshipping was, is really big here, and it was a couple of years ago, but especially with these systems, I feel like I'm so much better than every other competitor who's like just searching on AdSpy and copying the whole, uh, the whole title, the whole everything, the video, like everything from like copycatting it. So right. I think that's the massive game changer that I'm, with these systems, it looks like so much like a real business instead of like copying what everybody else is doing. I love it. I love it. And that's a great, great perspective as well, Paul, honestly. So with that being said, okay, we're going to give out one more hoodie here. Okay. But before we do so, if you had one piece of advice, Paul, to give to everyone watching right now, because I want the thing is everyone watching right now, we want them to be prepared, systemized and ready to actually pounce and not to waste ad spend doing things randomly with the peanut gallery. Yeah. Everyone watching here is someone who's been following us, someone who's seen what we've done. And we want to make sure everyone is actually, you know, equipped with the actual knowledge to make this happen because a lot of people will go out with this by the seat of their pants do things randomly rush yeah. throw stuff against the wall and then lose money okay i will i mean when you're in bsf guys you don't spend a single cent until it goes through me um and like i said like i literally am on like the computer all day long like there's no <laughs> other program like this literally that will go up more above and beyond for you and i and like that's why i built this is to be that like unreal support system and unreal community so paul what's like one piece of advice that you would give to answer to everyone watching right now if they want to be really successful in this business i think like get a coach like if you're into ecom especially when it's uncomfortable you know so like when you see the big number of investment but like I think always the best investment is in yourself, whether it's reading books or like going to places that I'm doing now, like connecting with all these other guys that are doing like 10 times what I'm doing, but I know I will get there like faster and, and that kind of stuff. So I, I think BSF is like one of the best in the industry and, and I'm not telling that for, for any kind of reasons. <laughs> so I'm really happy with how this is going and I, I advise everybody to like make a strategy call and see if it's a good fit for you.
Awesome, Paul. Awesome. So, you know, definitely invest in yourself and we'll stay away from Luna for now, right? <laughs> yeah, at the moment, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, other than that, uh, guys, we'll give it our last hoodie now. For every, we had pretty much the entire attendance stayed the entire time, Paul. The people love you. The people love you. So, Paul, we'd love to have you back. If you if you want to come back, we'd love to have you. And then Always. Future, my friend, Always. You yeah, are an absolute... You're not one, you're an absolute rock star. Two, you're a stud. And three, you're a whiz because you literally have this memorized at the back of your hand. I ask you a question and it's like an instant response time, which is pretty sick, man. So I'm very proud of you there and you should be proud of yourself too. Thanks, man. For sure. So guys, last call for BSF hoodie. Drop it down below. Hashtag BSF. Okay, go hard in this one, guys. Screw it. We'll give out two now. Whatever. We'll give out two. Drop <laughs> it down below. We're giving out two right now. And Paul, if you want to go on your phone or something, jump into BSF group and then choose someone to win in the comments. I don't have my phone. Yeah, don't, uh, worry don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, what, okay, very good. Guys, all right, down below, hashtag BSF, guys. We'll go ahead and choose two specific winners, guys, and we will go ahead and get rocking and rolling to our next phase of the interview. Okay, so very good. We'll go ahead and check down here. Very good to see everyone down here. My man, Dino Mora. Congratulations, Dino, right there. Dino, you won yourself a BSF hoodie, my friend. Congratulations. We're going to choose one more as well. I'm going to go ahead and hop into one of our other. Let's see who we got in here from our other group. Let's go into our drop shipping for beginners group. Okay, let's hop over here. All right, real quick, guys, jump it over to our drop shipping for beginners group to choose the hoodie giveaway winner here. Very nice. Who do we got? All right, we got Amit Bajwale. Congratulations, Amit Bajwale and Kesha B. And Kesha B. So we just gave away three hoodies instead. Okay, so Kesha B, Amit Badrali, as well as the individual I just mentioned previously. So three hoodie giveaway winners. Everyone shoot me a message to my Instagram, to my Facebook, wherever. It doesn't matter. Hit me up. Get the hoodie on the house. Rock it. Wear it to the gym and enjoy it. Okay? And other than that, Paul, again, thank you so much for actually hopping out with us today. Boys. Congratulations to the hoodie giveaway winners as well. And Paul, I know your time is super valuable and you coming on here to share your value, wisdom, efforts, and insight, as well as your secrets with the rest of the community is extremely humble yourself. And I am just so, so happy that you were able to do this today with us, man. And again, thank you. Always. For sure. And all right, with that being said, guys, you know, go ahead and, you know, hopefully if you're watching on the replay, comment hashtag replay down below. If you're watching on the replay, okay, we will be giving out one BSF hoodie, okay, for someone who comments hashtag replay below, but you got to be watching the actual replay, guys, okay? So with that being said, everyone say, you know, thank you down to Paul down below, guys. He spent his time with us today. Thank you so much, Paul. Everyone say thank you down below, guys. Thank you guys for also attending. Okay, guys, keep showing up. Remember, every single Tuesday, we're going to be going live. Okay, with one of our BSF students who's absolutely crushing it. Okay, which is going to be really, really cool. We also have the events on the, every 15th of the month and every 30th of the month as well. So every single Tuesday, 15th and 30th as well, guys. Okay, and other than that, Paul, the people loved you. I'm sure you can see all the comments down below in all the groups. I can see it over here in the yeah, CRM yeah. pretty much, you know, which is awesome. You got a lot of, you know, these people love you, Paul. So, you know, definitely make it happen. Continue to provide value in the in the BSF group. I think you got a lot of really, really cool people who want, who want to, you know, kind of, you know, rock and roll alongside you, man. So again, everyone who's on here right now, thank you for showing up. Hopefully you got incredible value today, guys. Hats off to y'all. Thank you so much, guys, for all the incredible support as well. As I always mentioned over the last few years, you guys have built this Beyond Six Figures community to what it is today. And we would be nowhere without you guys in terms of actual building out massive, massive committees to help the world thereafter, guys. So first and foremost, thank you for engaging. Thank you for believing in us. And thirdly, thank you for actually hopping on and engaging and showing us the support every single day of the week. It fires us up and keeps us hungry to keep doing incredible value-driven lives like this. And other than that, guys, have a good rest of your day. And Paul, any last minute words you got before we hop off here? Thanks to anybody who's watching. I'm like, check out BSF down below. 100% recommend. Done deal. Done deal, guys. All right. So with that being said, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and make it happen. If anyone's looking to actually get inside of BSF, Okay, Arvind and myself will drop justinwall.com slash platinum down below to go ahead and apply. If you're coming from the poll live stream, you'll get $500 off only if you opt in today. If you opt in tomorrow, it won't happen. Go to justinwall.com slash platinum and you'll go ahead and specifically get $500 off if you opt in today. And you'll also be able to get one of the last spots we have here at BSF before we close our rolling enrollments for this quarter. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you have an incredible rest of your day so far. Arvind, you can drop that down below for everyone to go ahead and Make sure they go through it and we'll continue to rock and roll as well. Ladies and gents, have a good rest of your day. Enjoy. And I'll see you guys shortly. Have a good one, guys.